there! If we haven't met yet, my name is Sarah and I'm the mom next door. I'm passionate about finding and sharing ways to live life better. If you haven't joined me yet, I invite you to subscribe. Today's video is all about productivity. I'm going to share with you how to use the Reminders app on your iPhone and some cool tips that will help you make the most of it. I'm also going to share with you some of my favorite productivity hacks. Let's get started with an overview of how to create your to-do list. The Reminders app on your iPhone is really just a collection of lists. The list called Reminders is where I keep my entire to-do list. To add something new to your to-do list, tap New Reminder at the bottom, or scroll down and just start typing. How to add dates and times to items on your to-do list. Tap on the eye icon if you want to add more details about this action item. Here, you can tap on a due date for that action item. You could add some specific notes about that action item. And you could even enter in a time. How to add repeated or recurring tasks to your to-do list. After you add a date or time to your task, you'll have the option to tap repeat. Tap repeat to create a recurring task. This is really helpful for new habits you're trying to create, like maybe making your bed every day, or for things that happen on a repeated basis. For example, bills that are due at the same time every month. So once you're on this screen, tap the frequency for the item and it will show up for you repeatedly and automatically in your list. You can add an end date to your repeated item. Tap on end repeat and you can change it from repeat forever to end repeat date. Just scroll through and select the date in which you would like to stop that item from repeating. How to add a location to items in your Reminders app. You might want to add a location to your item if you want to be reminded of that item when you arrive or leave somewhere or when you get in or out of your car. This might be helpful, for example, if you need milk from Safeway. You'll be reminded to get milk the next time you get in your car. How to assign a priority to items in your list. Tap on priority to assign a low, medium, or high priority to that item. Tap list if you decide you want to move that item to a different list in your Reminders app. Now that you're done setting up your item, you'll see it on your list. And you'll see one, two, or three exclamation points near items prioritized as low, medium, or high. How to view all items with the due date of today. From the home screen, tap on today and you'll see all of the items that are scheduled for today from all of the lists in your Reminders app. How to view all tasks with a due date. If you tap on Scheduled, you'll see all items from all of your lists that are scheduled to be due on any specific day. Here's some other ways to use the Reminders app. I mostly use this app to make my to-do list and to plan each day. You can create lists for all kinds of other things too. I have a Sunday routines list. I have a list for all of our favorite family dinners. And I created a packing list for when we travel so I don't have to rethink about what to pack each time. How to view completed tasks and create a packing list. The Reminders app saves items you've checked off in the past. Tap the three dots in the top right corner and then tap on Show Completed to see all of the items you've checked off in the past. In my packing list example, I can now see everything I've checked off in the past that I've packed. I can uncheck things I want to pack for my next trip without having to start a list from scratch. How to organize your to-do list with hashtags. If you want to organize your to-do list items by different projects, you could either create a different list for each project or you could use hashtags. After each to-do list item, simply add a hashtag at the end of items connected to that project. How to search in the Reminders app on your iPhone. The Reminders app has a great search feature. From the home screen of the app, you can type in the search bar, any word or hashtag, and you'll see search results from all of the lists in your app. How to change the name and color of lists in your Reminders app. To change the name or color of a list in your Reminders app, press and hold on that list. You can then edit the name and change the color. How to change the order of lists and items in your to-do list. To rearrange the order of your lists, press and hold on a list you want to move and then drag it up or down. You can also change the order of items within a list. You can press and hold to move them manually or tap on the three dots in the top right corner, then tap sort by. 
You can now sort your list in a variety of ways, such as by due date, by creation date, priority, or alphabetical by title. How to view items from all of your lists all at once. From the home screen, tap on all to review all lists and all items under each of those lists. How to create a new list in your Reminders app. To create a new list, tap Add List in the bottom right corner of your screen. You can name your new list and select which color you would like it to be. How to use Siri to add items to your to-do list. Even when you're not in the Reminders app, you can ask Siri to help you add a reminder to your list. Just say something like, Hey Siri, remind me to get milk from Safeway. The next time you open your Reminders app, you'll see it added to your Reminders list. You could also say something like, Hey Siri, remind me to get eggs from Safeway tomorrow. Siri will add the to-do list item to your reminders list with the date and time you specified. Here's a couple of my favorite productivity tips. I use just a generic list in the reminders app called Reminders to keep track of all of the tasks, everything on my mind. So if I think of something that I need to do, then I add it to my reminders list. You can do this really easily by using Siri on your iPhone. So my reminders list is a complete inventory of all of the tasks that I need to do. A key to being productive is being really clear about what tasks are most important to tackle first today and being really clear about what things you're choosing not to do today. There's two books that have made a big influence on me and how I make those decisions. One is Getting Things Done by David Allen, and the other one is Organize Tomorrow Today or Organize Your Team Today, two different books that have some similar concepts by Jason Selk. One key concept from Organize Tomorrow Today is to decide on your three most important tasks to do each day. And ideally, they should be things that you can get done by 10 in the morning or maybe noon. So I review all of the tasks in my reminders list, in my big inventory list, and I pick the top three most important things to do today. I change the due date to today, and in the app, it will automatically duplicate those items and show them in a today list. So I then stay hyper-focused on my priorities for the day by working on getting those three things done and not looking back at my full list again until I've completed all three of those tasks. If by noon, you've completed all of your three most important things, you can celebrate and feel really good and confident about that. Or you might go back to your reminders list and look at your entire inventory and continue chipping away at more things that day. And getting things done, David Allen talks about how when a new task comes up, you make a decision to either do it immediately right then, especially if it can be done in a few minutes or less, or to defer it to later. If you're choosing that defer to later option, the reminders app is a great way to do that. Again, you can just tell Siri, remind me to pay this bill or whatever the task is. And you can even add a due date on there. Remind me to pay this bill tomorrow at 10 a.m. I've tried a bunch of different apps over the years to keep myself and my tasks organized. I've tried Evernote, including the paid version of Evernote. I've tried AnyList, I've tried Google Keep, I've tried a bunch of different things, and I just keep coming back to the Reminders app. It's really simple, it's easy to use, it's fast, and it does the job. I hope you learned something today that was useful. For more videos on how to live life better, please subscribe.